Welcome back to another episode of the Acastus Nidisterius. I'm Bri the Builder, and in this one, I'm going to be finishing up the wiring that's going into the carapace itself. So I have a couple lead wires that'll go to my positive and negative terminals here that'll end up connecting up to the carapace top. Um, and then those will end up connecting on the other end to the plug receiver that will be mounted right there. So that's gonna have to be cut off. I'll end up building out of epoxy sculpt a little replacement cover that'll be opened up or down somewhere to make it look like, All right? That would be the plower receiver. Um, and then right here, I will drill a hole on both sides for the feed wire to come out and then feed to the weapons. Uh, and then this one will be covered in the um, shrink tube to make it look like a more substantial power cord. Um, and then that'll go to each of the weapons. So I've got the two of those. So those holes need to be drilled. And then I have these little collars that'll go in there to make it look more like it's actually meant to have the power wire coming out of it to feed to the weapons. All right, so then um, once that's all done and everything's all soldered up, um, I will also get the pilot mounted and his wiring connected as well. And so at the end of this one, I should be able to plug into power and have all of the lighting in the body work. And when I put the lid on, it should make connection on those points and all should work. So uh, let's get to work.
that. That is more perfect. All right, so obviously, when you start the other way. do actually want to try to make sure that red stays on the right so as much as possible then it will be consistent as you plug in all of the plugs um, at least in general the positive will be to the right or red to the right so it should help all of the the individual pieces should essentially be labeled um, and somewhere in here I'm not sure exactly where I'll have to put a positive negative symbol you know maybe I can just put a positive on one side and then obviously the other side's negative I don't know um, but that is in a very good spot so I'll get that glued in then I need to build essentially a pair of these to come out of the side of the body so I'll probably put shielding on to about here well maybe half right because that's all it's gonna need to get to the weapon right that should be more than enough um, and then on the inside uh, I'll have to figure out a way um, because these are gonna get tugged and pulled around a whole bunch I'll have to put some kind of a another piece on the inside a little piece of sprue that this is kind of knotted around um and then glued to so it has something that it's kind of attached to so it can't be tugged back out um but we'll figure that out as i go so for now we need some shrink tube now this off amazon might not be the most efficient way to buy this um you can actually get the small diameter which I'm going to use way more of but I bought a couple kits essentially that have a whole bunch of sizes so I've used all three of these already um, so I don't know there's definitely potential to use a whole bunch more for little things um, but for the amount that I'm actually using just these couple sizes it might be smarter to just buy of the, you know, 10 feet of just those sizes and cut it to length. For now though, this seems to be a pretty efficient way when I'm pretty much only going to be covering solder joints for the most part. Um, and let's see, I think the next size up, I only need a couple of, cause that's gonna end up being the little kind of connector pieces that go over the top. And it makes it look, you know, A little more like a massive actual cable with the little extra pieces in there so I think the little extra extra connector pieces that like it covers the seams on all the small pieces also but I think it actually adds a nice level of detail looks pretty cool in my opinion so it is really easy to put these together Got to make sure you put the right color on the right side.
I think that actually worked really nicely. This is a kind of a finish right there. All right, so you're gonna do that again. Should be really nice. Actually, let it cool off a little. Okay, we have our two cables to go in to the interior. Let's unplug that now, it's fine. Okay, nice straight. Alright, there's our two cables to come out to the weapons. We need to set up our two feeder wires. I've already marked these positive negative. Let's see the main power coming in. I don't need to worry about gluing that in quite yet, but let's take these two guys. Well, actually first, I want to get these two guys here soldered together.
I think for now, that's good. Then, it's messy, but that's okay. That's what I was hoping for, but I had no idea that it would actually fit quite that nicely. So that is a pretty wonderful thing to see. Put a little more glue. Residual zip kicker in there that are just really locked those in pretty quickly. Alright, so those will be pretty cool. Then all of this really needs to get connected together.
gonna try to basically kind of push everything toward the back. Kind of tuck it down here uh, because as the cockpit comes in, its leads are coming out the back of it. So it should just pretty much push all this stuff out of the way. And my two leads are still available. All right, so let's test fit the cockpit here. Get a work around all the bits and pieces here. That is in. And all my leads are basically in the right spots, whether or not. All right, so I'm gonna have to bring up those pieces of shrink tube so I can actually get them in the right spot here. Or I guess maybe I'll just, you know, it's too late to take them off. Um, I may be able to just shrink tube over the top in this kind of a position and just leave them kind of sticking up with the shrink tube. The shrink tube, once they're soldered, the shrink tube is only basically for protecting them from touching each other and, and kind of crossing connections. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. Those pieces of shrink tube down there definitely aren't doing me any good. Uh, and I don't know that I'm going to be able to bring them all the way up to get them into place anyway. So I think they are just lost pieces of shrink tube down there. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of bypass them. So... really do a great job of twisting those because they're pretty solid at this point. So, since they're all pinned up, should. Now, before I glue the cockpit in place, I actually want to try to push everything down. Make sure everything fits, all the LEDs in the eyes, and it's a tough stretch from my power source. So we've got all that. All the LEDs in the cockpit are working. And the right, the spotlight there, the skull eyeball there, fibers there, everything looks great.
All right, that worked pretty well. I was able to flood quite a bit of super glue. Let's get those out of the way. I'm back in and around the connection points. So I think that should be really well locked in. perfect but it's really good those line up really nicely you can't pick it up by the carapace lid or anything but everything's in good spots All right, so other than just building up kind of a cover around this plug and making it look like it belongs there, the carapace wiring is complete. All right, that makes me super happy. It's going to be fun to move on to the next kind of several stages here. I think in the next, the next video, I'll probably end up doing um, pretty much the rest of the weapons in one video. I'm just kind of running through it and getting them over with. Um, cause I think it would end up being just far too much like detail to, in my opinion, um, to actually show every step of every stage of the weapon builds. Um, so again, let me know in the comments if you want to see all the detail or if you want, uh, less talking, more time-lapse. All right. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.